welcome to the Inspire series. I am so excited because today I have with me Alex Tomic. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Dale. How are you? I'm great. It's so fantastic to have you with me. And I'm really excited because you're in Sydney, I'm in Melbourne. That wouldn't have happened before. And also because uh, how we met was through LinkedIn and I was just so impressed because you reached out for someone, not for yourself, um, to help someone and that really struck me and that's why I wanted to connect with you. Could you just tell me what, what you were, uh, it was a, a young gentleman in Venezuela who was, um, Yeah. could you tell us about that? Yeah, so uh, thanks for that, Dale. So uh, from about 12 months ago or so now, I uh, launched a little content creation agency um, to supplement what we were doing with our virtual reality platform, with our tech startup. And, um, within a few months, we ended up closing the doors um, of that agency, but there was one graphic designer specifically that uh, so Venezuelan based uh, Victor is his name. So, you know, we, we decided to retain his services because we knew we were going to need him um, for what we were doing with our startup. And uh, it's gotten to a point really uh, where there's not enough work for him to be able to keep him on a full time uh, salary or a paid uh, you know, full time contract. Um, but rather than letting him go, especially in today's environment, uh, yeah, I started to think to myself, okay, uh, I, I do still need his services on an, and on a part-time basis, but um, I don't want to let him go and kind of fend for himself um, you know, when really he's not going to be able to do much um, in today's climate. Uh, so I started reaching out to my network of um, you know, professionals within LinkedIn to see if anyone could benefit from having a you know, part-time graphic designer uh, to, to assist them with whatever they need. So kind of calculated, okay, well, you know, this is what it would look like. And yeah, that's how I started reaching out. And you have had some great responses, some people that are interested, some people that have started working with Victor. Um, so it's been a positive result so far, yeah. Brilliant, I love it. Alex, what I'd like to ask you is, uh, with this lockdown, what has been like a silver lining or something beautiful that's happened because of the lockdown for you? Yeah, so just as I mentioned, um, you know, what we're helping, what we're doing for Victor, um, helping him out, it's been, you know, it's quite beneficial. I just feel grateful for all the support that we've gotten throughout the community. Um, so that, that's more of a personal note and being able to help someone, um, help someone out like that. But uh, what we've also found in terms of our startup, so uh, within the speech therapy industry is um, a lot, the very traditional, uh, traditional um process in the sense that therapists they typically meet with their patients face to face yeah. in the US anyway so um, obviously with coronavirus um, people are realizing now they need to start introducing technology more into uh, what they're doing um, and you know with video conferencing with virtual reality um, it, it's been it's been positive from that end so it's been a silver lining and um, you know we've conversations um, you know people have been a bit more receptive to nowadays so it's been quite nice Fantastic, fantastic. And um, Alex, who has been a big inspiration in your life? So I've got a yeah, great question. Um, I've got a fair few mentors that I look up to and I learn from. Um, you know, certain aspects of their life is what I'm trying to replicate within my own, from business to sales, marketing, um, you know, health-wise as well, a number of different, um, you know, different mentors. But on an individual basis, I've got to say my mum. Uh, so my whole life, she's been there for me. And you know, no matter what's happened, um, she's always been someone that kind of look up to and think, okay, she's a rock. Um, and, you know, through thick and thin, she's there and just puts up with, you know, three young kids as when we were. Um, so, yeah, the older I get, the more I appreciate her. And, um, you know, she certainly inspires me every day. Yeah. That is brilliant. I love it. And, uh, Alex, when was the time that you had to reinvent yourself? Oh, that's a great question again. Um, it's a really good question. So I um I had this aha moment probably January of last year. Um, so I've had several before, but there was a massive turning point shifting telling. So I was um I was down in Miami for a business conference. Um, if you might be familiar with a guy called Grant Cardone, uh, maybe you've seen him on social media, quite a fair bit of content. But there was a lady on his stage. So There's a huge conference, thirty odd thousand people. Yeah, biggest I've been to. Um, and she got on stage. We, we heard some great speakers throughout the day, um, you know, amazing thought leaders, mentors. Um, but there's this one lady who was, happened just to be a client of hers, uh, sorry, of, uh, of Grant. And she got on stage um, to actually share her story, uh, you know, a testimonial, if you will. And there's one thing that she said that sticks with me today is 
that she got, so she's very successful in what she does, um, or fairly successful anyway, but she got drilled and actually destroyed by, uh, by Grant um, because he believed that she could still do more. And the way he said it, uh, the way she made it clear was that um, she, uh, she said that she was being selfish. Um, so she was extremely selfish because she wasn't you know, doing her absolute best all day, every day and becoming the best version of herself. So therefore, not only was she impacting herself, she was impacting her friends, her family, her loved ones. So everyone in her network um, was, you know, wasn't able to see the best version of her because she was, you know, in a sense, being selfish by not being that, uh, that best version of herself. So that really hit, uh, hit home for me because I realized, you know, there are times where I'm not being the best version of me, um, you know, be it health-wise, be it uh, just personal development, um, sales or marketing. You know, th there's always things I could do better. And, um, you know, if I'm not trying to become the best version of myself, then, um, you know, everyone else doesn't benefit from that either. So, yeah, that realization, um, you know, put me on a different journey and uh, one that you know, I've started developing or developed more consistent and better habits, um, which at the end of the day, as I'm sure you know, you know, it's really what it comes down to. So, yeah, that was the aha moment I had. Fantastic. Isn't that amazing? And it's so true because often we sort of think that um, self-development, you know, is it, it, that's what's selfish, you know, we're putting money on, to, you know, towards ourselves and time towards yeah. ourselves. But as you say, it's not because we're impacting everyone all the time. And uh, look, that's I think right. that that's a, a huge aspect of leadership is um, lead by example. And, and you have to be courageous and go where other people haven't gone. Otherwise, yeah. people aren't following you. <laughs> if, yeah, yeah, if you're just hanging right. back with them, <laughs> then yeah. you're not leading. Yeah, it's uncomfortable stepping out and you know, leading. But you know, it, it, as the old saying goes, if not you, then who? You know, it's got to be done. So may as well take charge, right? Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> so uh, I would just love you to... Uh, Leave, leave us with something um, specific. What message would you like to um, give people at, at this time? Yeah, so it's a, you know, another great question, Dale. Um, so I think um, one, one thing that I'd like to share is this, that no matter where you are, um, you know, and the sort of environment you're in, the people you're in, um, whatever you're trying to do, um, if not you, someone else will do uh, what you're looking to do. So, um, you know, I had a dream when I was younger of becoming a professional footballer, professional soccer player. Um, and, you know, I remember this particular speech that uh, one of our coaches gave us. And, you know, we were quite an elite group of players, uh, but basically saying that, you know, no matter what, like the statistics will show that one person out of this group will go out and, you know, become a professional, will make this their, um, you know, their daily life. You know, they'll make a living from it. They'll make really good money. They'll, you know, enjoy what they do. Um, and the question was, why not you? Um, so no matter where you are, if, you, if you're looking to be, uh, become the best sales professional uh, that you can possibly be, um, you know, and you might be mediocre right now, there's nothing stopping you from becoming the very best. Um, and, you know, likewise, in any aspect of, uh, of your life, you know, health-wise, fitness-wise, um, you know, as a leader, uh, there's nothing stopping you from becoming, you know, within that 1% because someone's got to do it now. So it may as well be you. So that's probably what I'd like to share. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And do you think it's a bit snooze you lose? Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> someone's going to do it. So <laughs> might as well go take charge. Right. It's been so fantastic getting to know you better. Uh, I think these are really words of wisdom and inspiration for people. So I would just like to give you a huge thank you for joining me today. And Alex, Tomic, have an awesome day. Thank you, Dale. Pleasure was mine. You take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.